Hi there, it's Tanya from Tati Treasures. So <clears throat> today I am going to do a little project uh, using the leaves, what was sent to me by BB Crafts. So I've just got my board down to protect it. Now I've got these long uh, tags. Violet did do me these, but obviously they're only you know, a snippet of paper with rounded edges and a hole in. So I've just got four of those and I've got my script stamp out. Um, this is just a cheap one that I got on eBay. Um, yeah, I've had it well over two years. And um, I did buy a Tim Holtz one that's got some scripty stuff on, but it's more numbers than actual script. So, um, at some point, I will have to get myself a, a Tim Holtz one because this it started to go a little bit floppy. Um, not the only way I can put it. So, I did think that I'm just going to put some script stamp over it um, and then put some words. So, I've put some words on here just journal i was going to put botanical but it wouldn't fit um journals long enough so i was going to do that in brown and then just put a charm on and with a bull pen that was the idea and i'll save these to go um in my botanical things next year so that'll be exciting I have got a few things already because um, I did do some tags and things with um, the things from In Love Arts with the stickers and stuff. So I've obviously saved all those. So this will go nicely. Um, <clears throat> you could also put some bits of trim on them and things like that i'm not gonna i'm gonna keep them pretty plain and if you was doing them in a, a non-botanical you could obviously add some bits of lace and and things like that i've done that uh before i think i did something very similar in the uh 3 and 15 the edith holden ones that i did so that's all those covered in script and then so I use the olive green stays on for that and then I'm going to use the stays on timber brown and um, make sure I get all these letters covered. Now this stamp that I'm using is again a cheap one from eBay and I think that I just typed in um, well text stamp but um, I think this is like typewriter font um, and I do do like that look because um, I just think it looks really basic and yeah I love that yeah I like that um, I wish I could stamp without putting lines on but I suppose that's why people use those really big ink pads because obviously I'm going to I am um, excuse me I'm having to do it in portions um, and then I think it just catches um, it. But yeah, there's some really gigantic pads that people use about from my finger to... No, not about there. It's exaggerating. <laughs> but yeah, I've seen them use it in like black and brown. So yeah, I do like those. Um, I must remember, um, I do want to make a load of words um up but i could probably do with some smaller font than than this because um yeah if i want to write botanical or something um it's going to be ginormous so i will look around for some smaller i did have the little um peg ones but um i found those two too not too small but hard to get a word um straight because obviously you was having to stamp them out separately 
Uh, so yeah, I'll just have to look for a smaller font. I actually do like those markings. I think it gives it um, a really nice look. Have you seen how that's um, like two imprints? Yeah, I do really like that. It's very Tim Holtzy looking, isn't it? Um, I don't know what kind of... The word is, it's like rustic, industrial kind of stuff. I, I don't know, but that's what it reminds me of. Um, so that's the stamp. So we've got it in the lowercase and uppercase. I did use the lowercase, but as you can see, they are big uh, stamps. So yeah in fact when i've done this video i am going to look for for some text stamps because um i do want to have a session of just doing a load of words because i think they're handy to have in your stash so i've got all these leaves and um, so absolutely brilliant kit from bb crafts um Obviously, you're not going to be able to properly see all the words. That's probably a good one because you can obviously see see through it. Same with that one. And that one. It's a little bit different to, to the other one. And that one. Yeah, that works then because then you're not blocking too much of the word off. So... Um, I will put the link in the description for those charms well worth having. And I've got my ball pins in here. I did order a thousand of them. <laughs> but um, I'd been buying them in like, I don't know, 50s or something. <laughs> and they just cost a fortune. So it was a lot cheaper buying them in bulk and obviously they're not taking that much room up it's not like ordering a thousand big things um so yeah but um, when i do do the botanical series i'm gonna sell some little kits with like ball pins and charms and things like that uh, you know just say so you've got one or two and then it saves you having to buy you know 50 of this and 50 of that i do think it's hard to try things things out in the well not hard expensive because you're having to buy all different things just to try them try them out and then i would order things and they'd be like in the wrong sizes they'd be either massive or too small um and then you know just didn't end up using them so that's that. I do think I'm just going to ink around them in um, whatever inks at the at the top of my pile. Let me have a look. Now, if I wanted, and I might actually, um, let's just ink around. So I've got, oh, I've got a vintage photo at the top. It's been a while since I've used that. Hopefully it'll be a bit more uh, juicy because I have noticed, oh, yeah, Um Hey, that's gone really good again. It's definitely a good idea keeping them upside down. Um, and I try and keep them, you know, and then not use them for about a week. Um, and it does really seem to juice them back up. Yep. So that's that one. But yes, I'm actually going to put um, an eyelet in them because I, I just think that I, that will add to the um the final look of them yeah i really like those they'd be good actually for at the front of a, a journal mm, i've got lots of ideas running running through my head too busy for new ideas <laughs> I really don't want to entertain any new ideas. Um, I've been watching Fiona Miss Paint a lot and, and Julie at uh, Camilla 
crafts um, and they've both been doing Edith Alden things and I know I'm still decorating the Edith Alden things but it's different to actually you know working on something something new um, and I'm dying to get me Edith that and and start something but um yeah I said to Julie this morning I need to keep keep on track because um yeah I'm nearly finished with the winter projects and things and then hopefully I'll have filmed enough things to get me kind of past Christmas and um and then that will allow me um not you know not to have to film Christmas week because I have to work double the amount of shifts that I normally work at you know at my nine till five job. So Christmas week for me is absolutely exhausting. I normally end up quite ill after um so obviously it it absolutely fills me with dread um instead of being excited about Christmas it's um yeah it's twinged with with dread and obviously it's going to be even worse this year because you know the worry about everybody keeping away from you and and all the rest of it and we have our sale on Boxing Day and it's, you know, normally absolutely manic. And, um, yeah, sorry to all the people who do go shopping on Boxing Day, but um, uh, why? Like, I, I just couldn't imagine wanting to go shopping on, on Boxing Day. It's like all we've done for the run-up for Christmas is shop, 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 spend, spend, spend. Um, and... I'm filming this the first week of December, well, at the end of the first week of December. Um, and I've bought all my presents and they're all wrapped up. I've bought a lot of the food things. Um, I've obviously just got to do my fresh on the week. But um, I'm sick, sick to death of buying things, thinking about things, looking at things. Um, I don't want to buy anything again forever. Um, so I, I just really don't understand why people want to go and do it but Sunday it's like I would love to spend the day at home in front of the telly just enjoying it because um, before well in, at times when I haven't worked in retail or been between jobs and things and I've you know not worked over Christmas um, I do find you know most Christmas day I'm in in the kitchen with it's fine um, and Boxing Day is normally a more relaxing kind of day we always used to have um, like Christmas dinner either warmed up from the day before or um, oh what is it what you call it when you fry it up you know with like your mashed potato and your vegetables like bubble and squeak um, I don't know if that's a thing in, in other countries, but that's all it is, like your leftover potatoes and veg and stuff. And then um, have it with your cold meat, what's left over. And yeah, I find Boxing Day is a lot more of a relaxing day. So yeah, I just, I just couldn't imagine going shopping. So... I've gone on a tangent and I've totally forgot the whole purpose of, of what I was saying. <laughs> so anyway, um, so yeah, that's it really. I think they've made really quite good looking uh, little little elements. Um, and you know, there's not a lot to them at all. So yeah, but I do think the ones with the, the, the funny markings on and that are actually... Uh, the better ones. I think next time I will try and get more marks on it. I really do love that. How it's smudged. So that's that. Um, that was me having a good ramble. <laughs> and I shall see you very soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.